Leading Tower of Pisa. Can you see this? Venice, Colosseum. Ah, this is from Italy. बच्चों के साथ ट्रिप पे आई और जो कपड़ो क्या मैं छाता नहीं वो घुमा के आई मम्मी की इतनी चीजें खाली घुमा रही है ट्रिप पे सी व्हाट एप्ट बॉट नॉट एप्ट नॉन ऑफ दिस थिंग्स आर ओवर हियर बट आई एम प्रमोटिंग टूरिज्म कैन यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट For Italy. Hi, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Travel with Sal, where you and I we travel together. It's our day five in Turkey, and it is our day three in Istanbul. I'm never gonna get tired of saying it like that. It's just very funny. Now, Turkey, if you don't already know, is famous for its food. It's famous for its meat, and it's a meat lovers paradise. And my family and I we love and enjoy our food a lot. Hamari itni khurak nahi hai jitna hum manga lete hai, but humko khana khane bahut maza aata hai. So a walking food tour is basically where they'll take you and make you taste. All the street food and local delicacies. कल रात को हम डिनर के लिए गए थे नुसरते स्टेक हाउस विच इज इन एर ही इज अ वायरल सेंसेशन एंड वर्ल्ड क्लास रेस्टोरेंट दैट वॉज अ कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट एक्सपीरियंस एंड फॉर दैट यू हैव टू वॉच द लास्ट ब्लॉग तो ही आपको समझेगा की मॉम का बर्थडे हमने टर्की स्टाइल में कैसे मनाया बट द लास्ट टू डेज इन इस्तानबुल एंजॉय शॉपिंग इन ईटिंग लोकल फूड एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट स्टार्टिंग आर डे विथ आर वॉकिंग फूड टूर आई हैव बुक दिस वाई एर बी एन बी आई थिंक इट रॉफली कॉस्टेड मी फोर थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड हो सके आई एम शेयरिंग कॉस्ट विथ यूल बिकॉज आई नो के जहाँ पे भी आपको अगर कभी भी ये ट्रिप प्लान करना हो तो आपकी हेल्प हो जाएगी और सारे लिंक्स जो भी मेरे बुकिंग्स के मैं डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में डाल देती हूँ बिकॉज आई टोक अलॉट ऑफ एफर्ट टू प्लान दिस ट्रिप सो आई डोंट वॉन्ट यूल टू गो थ्रू सो मच रिसर्च मैंने बहुत रिसर्च करके ये सारे रिव्यूज वगैरह चेक करके किए आई बिन कन्वर्सिंग विद द गाइड दिफ टोल्ड अस हाउ टू कम फ्रॉम आर होटल वी आर स्टेंग एट कारकॉय इन गलाटा पोर्ट होटल माई पेरेंट्स ऑल रीड डाउन आई एम गो मीट दैम एंड वॉकिंग टू द कारकॉय ट्राम स्टेशन वहां से ट्राम लेंगे फिर एम एन ओनू एंड फिर वहां से स्पाइस बजार सो दैट्स The local transport we have to do for today. I was putting my video to upload, and I'm taking this bag. I'll show you my outfit of the day. It's super cute. I'm wearing a kaftan today, feeling very Turkish in my outfit. So this kaftan is from Fancy Pants Official. I shop from there. They have a store in Bandra. In my shopping packing vlog, me, you have seen it. And I'm wearing these flats. This I got from Bandra Hill Road years and years ago. This tote bag, which is very beachy bohemian, is uh, from H and M. My earrings are from this beautiful Instagram page called Rice Song, and I think they just tie my look so well together because I'm not carrying anything in the neck. My neck me heavy jewelry carry ne kiya and my watch is Giordano and regular H and M bracelets and rings. That's it. Super cute outfit. Keeping my hair open, but I'm gonna carry a clip just in case. This is a best thing. Come on, Papa. Let go. Are you excited, Ma, to be eating all day today again? Oh no, I'm not. So well. It's loaded. We have to take this boxcular line, wali. Tram station ki frequency must hai. She always finds a place to sit in the tram. Next station is only a minute. No, no. We are on time. Nine thirty is the list. See, this is how the Airbnb host message you, and you can chat with them. अरे खाने को कैसे ले सकता फुल फूड टूर पे जा रहे हैं फूड का है अरे नाश्ता देंगे ना इमीडिएटली पानी लो पानी पियो पानी पकड़ो मेक एन एपेटाइट बिल्ड एन एपेटाइट इतना कंफ्यूजिंग है ना यूरोपियन में ना ये चलने का बहुत मिसिर कार से सी दैट साइड और दिस साइड दैट साइड हाउ टू गो लेफ्ट फर्स्ट लेफ्ट थैंक यू माय नेम इज डीडी देन यू कैन कॉल मी डीडी इट्स इजी ओके वेरी नाइस हैविंग यू 
सेम यो सेम यो आर वी स्टार्ट आर वी वेटिंग फॉर यस यस वी विल स्टार्ट स्टार्ट इमीडिएटली यस ओके ग्रेट वेरी हिडन ब्रेकफास्ट स्पॉट ओके वी आर स्टार्विंग सिंस द टाइम दिस इज व्हाट आई वाज लुकिंग फॉर वी विल वॉक ए बिट बट आई एम गोइंग टू टेक इट टू अ वेरी हिडन एंड लोकल ब्रेकफास्ट स्पॉट एंड देन वी विल कम बैक एंड देन इनटू द स्पाइस मार्केट इन एंड आउट अप ए हिल इनटू द ग्रैंड बाजार ओह राइट ओके सो इट्स ऑलवेज वॉकिंग ईटिंग वॉकिंग ईटिंग लॉट वॉकिंग और लिटिल वॉकिंग There is only one hill that is very challenging because the city itself was built on seven hills. Uh huh. We are walking towards the third hill of Istanbul today. Okay. And then it's all hill down because yesterday also we walked and walked and walked. Exactly. Is it completely under construction, Blue Mosque, or part of it? You are able to enter the Blue Mosque. Right. Uh, it's also open for worship. Yeah. But the blue tiles are not visible. Oh. And the blue is what gives okay. its name. Yes. Uh, yeah, Sophia, we did. So, Blue Mosque is definitely like a main attraction of Istanbul. I know. We saw it from the outside, but like you know, Didam is the second person who's telling us don't go yeah. inside, and it's, it's not shame. worth it. Yeah. I always tell that the city is under construction the whole time. Just like Bombay. <laughs> I, either it's road constructions or it's apartments, flats, and most of the ma- major sightseeing is are under renovation. So as if we haven't been settled 500 years ago, there's still something going on. 1888, built by a French architect. The upper levels are not used anymore, only for storage purposes. For example, this guy is storing his peanuts or statues in that building. Mm-hmm. In previous time, the upper levels was used for accommodation. So you might be a tradesman, a businessman coming from outside Istanbul with your goods that you have to sell. You would stay there and you would store your goods in the ground level. Basically, what we are going to have is Turkish pizza. Let's say pizza. It's a doughy dish. It's crispy edges. Lahma. Uh, what is it called? Very similar to lahma, and it's pide. Okay. Yeah, it's pide. Uh, and pide is basically a Georgian fruit. Somehow we have. Borders with Georgia, from Georgia to the northern part of Turkey, and then the whole Turkish cuisine. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Very rustic pide. Oh yeah. Hello. Even though the owner can't speak any English, he's very friendly and chatty. Please. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Good night. Good night. Good night. This is his main business. He makes tiny, tiny sandwich loaves for the donut stalls in the neighborhood. Okay. The oven is older than seventy years, and what's very important is about this oven. He's using shredded wood instead of piles of wood. That makes him easier to control the heat. So whenever it is necessary, he's just shuffling more shredded wood in. This is his main business. And then he's going to make us a breakfast dish. Turkish super. 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 Looks amazing. And we will receive another one and that's the cheesy version. This yes. is the minced meat version. Mm-hmm. Please, please, pizza. please begin, yes. <laughs> But the coffee here is very bitter. It is very strong. Yes. Very strong. Yes. And grainy in some sort of way. Yes, because all the ingredients that you put in that pot to make coffee, you pour it in in the cup as well. Oh. You don't drain it. You don't drain it. No. So the grainy part is at the bottom. Hmm. Later. This is the pistachio they use in baklava. It's like different. As opposed to the pistachios we eat in Mumbai and India, and these are pink pistachios. I was just recollecting that in Bombay, our favorite restaurant as a family to eat is Beirut because they have Turkish food, and now we are in Turkey eating the food. Quite an experience. I did this yesterday, Simit. Wonderful. Yes, dipped in molasses and roasted sesame seeds. Yeah, but they can get a little stale sometimes, like. Yes, if they wait too long during the day, you yeah. have to. Yes, you have to be at the at the right time at the right place, oh, so okay. that you receive the fresh ones. Fresh ones, okay. If you consider the hugeness of the city, seventeen million people are living in the city, and the hugeness of the soil itself. This is still a place. No matter where you live, you would come here and buy things. 
समझा वो तुमको पहले क्या बोल रही थी एलेप 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 कर रही थी मैं बोली केरला का यहाँ के दिस इज फॉर कबाब नो कबाब हाउ मच दिस पैकेट हाउ मच किलो वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी फोर वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी किलो फोर किलो आई डू वन किलो आई वन लिटिल टू किलो हाँ हंड्रेड ग्राम हंड्रेड ग्राम लिटिल 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 नहीं मिश मेरा आई कैसे इफेक्ट फुल भी इफेक्ट फुल लगे हाँ इफेक्ट फुल भी बैठ कमा मलबरी जी थैंक यू टेस्टिंग लोकल और हेलो हेलो यू हैव स्टेक 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 सॉस 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 ओके व्हाट इज़ दिस दिस गोडा मैम Wow, that means straight up smells like virgin moi. Steak sauce. Nusrate, nusrate, nusrate. Nusrate. Mummy's nusrate. My obsession is not going, guys. It's not going to go. Even when we are back in India. Sauce, sauce, liquid. I don't sauce. No, they don't have sauces. Pomegranate sauce, dega tum. No, no. Or again, no. Be bolo na 100 gram lene. 100 gram nici. Or again, no. How much? One. Okay, one hundred eighty lira. One eighty lira. Abu, aaja. Yes, this one. This is hot. Only this one. Okay. Hibiscus, you are giving. Where is it? Show. Yeah. Oh, hibiscus. Look at that. How much hibiscus? How much lira? Hibiscus for you. One one hundred gram, two hundred gram, no problem. One thousand lira. One thousand lira. One thousand lira. Okay. For what? Wait, hundred, two hundred gram. No, 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 no. I don't. <laughs> He's kidding. You can't see okay. his face. Two fifty. Two fifty liter. Two fifty gram. Two fifty gram. How, how much liter? Kilo, kilo, three hundred fifty. One kilo. So how much liter? He'll do total now. Wait. Yes, total. Yeah, both. 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 Okay, okay. I thought it meant the pillars of Islam. Um, I'm sorry. Did you mean the pillars inside or the minarets? These, these minarets. 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 Yes. Four is just dedicated to a sultan. Okay, okay. And two is prince, princess. Okay. So this was a female princess, and her tomb is there as well. Oh, okay. She's the inventor of Turkish yes. delight. Oh, wow. 1777. So almost 250 years old, older than the republic itself. Wow, they started wow. to make those hot candies with different flavors and different colors. Mm -hmm. After the business was established 100 to 110 years later a German scientist invented cornstarch and the owner of that place wanted to make a soft candy for the sultan he came up with the idea of make, mixing cornstarch water sugar and natural flavors and invented turkish delight so turkish delight is just really a foreign phrase the turkish name is lokum and lokum comes from the word lokma Which is bite size, uh, yes. tiny pieces of delights. Hello. 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 Okay, so we have a taste now, and then we will have some when we have Turkish coffee. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ah, no.
Very dense. There's sugar, no, in this? Sugar? Yes, but really less sugar. If you try Turkish delight before in Turkey, you will notice that the amount of sugar is less than ever. Then they also make home homemade almond paste. Amazing, isn't yeah. it? In a bad way. <laughs> <laughs> but that is fiction? Or is no, it's, it's the, it was the actual roof and it took us four years to renovate the roof. Oh. So nice advertisement for the city, yes? yes. But huge money to repair it. <laughs> <laughs> Who James Bond did it? Yeah, Sky James Bond. Bond. Yeah, in Skyfall, Skyfall, he drove his bike over the Grand Bazaar. Yeah. Yeah, yes. Wow! And it was real, guys. It was not fiction. In 1664, Mr. Karsisi. How do you pronounce it, Mr. Mr. Karsisi. Karsisi. <laughs> <laughs> and literally translated, Mr. Meat means Egypt. For this. so, Mr. this is this is for us Egyptian Bazaar. Okay. The spice bazaar is just a, again a foreign phrase. Hmm. Every shop is the financial support of the mosque that we just saw. They have to pay rent, so you can't buy a shop, you can only rent a shop, and all the rent goes to the mosque that is under construction. Okay. Hello. Hello. It's me. <laughs> we are pouring all the ingredients without draining it into the cup very gentle. Mm. And that's why you have the grainy part at the bottom. And the grainy part we don't consume. We only consume as much liquid as possible. And that's why you have always a glass of water to wash it down after. Turkish coffee. Turkish coffee, exactly. We are walking to our next destination for Donio Kebab, yeah? Yes. We are walking towards the third hill of Istanbul. And the third hill of Istanbul is occupied by a very important landmark, the Suleymaniye Mosque. Suleymaniye Mosque. Dedicated to the Sultan Suleyman in the 16th century. And as I told this morning, during his ruling time, we owned the most soil level. The 16th century was the wealthiest time of the Ottoman era. From there we will have a, a very nice turner at a very nice spot in the historical peninsula and then we will enter the Grand Bazaar. Okay, okay. Climbing a hill my parents are left at the back. <laughs> no sign of them in here. Ah, I saw my father finally. I love the way the shopkeepers market over here. Like I was just walking and then somebody told me look uh, be careful and then I looked down and he was and then he was redirecting me to his shop. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, my, you have to work up an appetite. Habibi, all have one? Yes. There's no coffee shop here or somewhere? Why you want to have coffee? No, you want to have donier kebab. Donier kebab. How do you say doner? Doner. Doner. The word itself is the move, is the movement. Doner means spinning, turning. Ah. So the meat is turning all day long. It's like a kind of shawarma, guys. It's very similar to shawarma without yeah. the sauce. Even while she was explaining about Turkish coffee, I couldn't capture it. But basically, it's Brazilian coffee bean. And the process of making it is what makes it Turkish. I'll try to make a reel on Impulse's Instagram so you all can stay tuned for that. I'm going to buy like beautiful cutlery from here for Impulse. Hopefully, carrying all this back to oh, India is going to be a thrust. The main thing is the weight issue. I'll end up paying here and I'll end up paying at the airport. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Have you already given up? Yeah. It's only 11.30. Mummy. But it's a walking food tour. Isilia Bojuna guys made a map, but they were at Abi Unko Jitna, the Kasak, the Kana Padega. Ye fifty three may a hale. Sixty with a very young. Ye hal. Papa, you have a photo of a child. You have a photo of a child. You have a photo of a child. You have a a part, a structure that, is, that belongs to the mosque itself. In former times, they would serve drinking water behind those bars. So it's a fountain area. Nowadays, it's used as a donor stall since 1970. Do you know that yogurt drink Ayran, we have a local one, yeah. we have last year I as well. I tasted it yesterday. Uh, do you want to try it again yeah. or do you want to have no, something would, else to drink? No, I don't know. Okay, so you will receive water anyway and then Ayran might be a nice idea. Sarah, this is 100% beef. Yeah. Uh, you should think about it as piles of steaks, thin sliced steaks, Piled on top of each other. Okay. In between, you have tail fat, 100% tail fat. So while it's cooking, the fat is melting and makes the meat juicy. Almost. What push it in door? Why are you trying to push it in door? So, This is 
iron. It's, it's basically iron. Water. Yes, it's lassi. No, it's chas. Yes, please enlighten me. <laughs> Every American guest yes. thinks that the taste is strange, and I tell them that's very similar to lassi. But then they say that lassi is the sweet version. Yes, yeah. chas is the salty. Chas, 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 chas. Chas is the salty version because I had it yesterday and I was like, it's buttermilk. It's like buttermilk. Yes, very similar. Yes, yeah. yes. So chas is like this. We put uh, dahi water, a curd water, salt, and masala. Uh huh. Uh huh. And that's how we. Ma, see? Yeah, nice. 110 he's saying, but. Bargain. Bargain is it? Yes. <laughs> What's the best price? Come on. How much? 120. Yeah. Now you made it 120, you said 110? 110. This one. How much to tell? He's saying 120. Use, use yarn. Yes. 100 he says. Can you make it 80? Ask him. No, he said for, from 120 to 110. I said what's 10? 80. 80. 80. 80. Come on. Bye. 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 Gajab bhi jati hai. Even for 90, 90. 90, 90. 100, finish. Come on, give it. Done. Done. Pack it, please. 100 for change? Yeah. yeah okay. okay. No English. No English. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye bye. Bye. See you. <laughs> Ma, you have to take this hat. You I don't like to, such funny things. But you have to take this hat. No. It looks so good in Greece. We will enter the Grand Bazaar. 66 streets, 24 gates in different streets and different neighborhoods. Over 3,500 shops, 5 mosques, hmm. 17 road hotels. Where again, people would come from different cities or different countries who could stay with their goods. How many stations are covered for Grand Bazaar? How many stations? Two. Grand Station. Two. Two to three. Uh, uh, Emino no? No, I mean on is seaside, sea level. I mean on is close to Spice Bazaar. Achha, mm. So we have Chembalitash, Beyazut and Sultan Ahmed. Ah. Three stations. You can rent a place, you can inherit a place, a shop. Renting a shop per month for one square meter is 2,500 American dollars. American dollars? Oh. It's very expensive. Very expensive. Built in 1461 because the Sultan who conquered Istanbul thought that Istanbul should be a trade subject in Asia. That's why we have a Grand Bazaar. Lokhan Vela guy rent is 187,000. Square meter. Square meter. Lokhan Vela meter 33 lakh ki dukaan hai rent. It's not square meter ka nahi hota rate. So the shops ka rate hai. Shop ka rate hai. The square meter ke saab se. But it's a dhanda bhi zyada hai na. Would you like to have one of these kids with nice t-shirts? No, thank you. Thank you. Big brands. <laughs> Rejon Kebab. Rejon Kebab. Very Rejon. famous. Rejon. Very famous spot in the Grand Bazaar since 1986. This is all kebab. And hmm. kebab means basically barbecue. But then you have to use some subtitles, some other names that is referring to that dish itself in particular. So we have chicken, grilled hmm. chicken. Finally Good. chicken, yes. Pieces of meat, and then we have four varieties of minced meat version. This is the classic version that we call Urfa, the non spicy version. The spicy version is Adana, that's the pistachio version, and that's the um, garlic version. Mm -hmm. And then we have hot chilies, onions, grilled tomatoes, and wheat bulgur. This is also very delicious diced mm -hmm. onions, diced tomatoes, cucumbers, fresh parsley, and pomegranate molasses as dressing. So my suggestion would be avoiding bread as much much as possible and concentrating on the meat. Yeah. yeah. The chicken is so good. This is Bikir Bey. Bikir is his name. He's the fifth generation who inherits that business and runs that business since 1875. Look how they used to have it then and look how these people are having it now. <laughs> He's an engineer, yes. <laughs> he gave up his professional life to, to support. What's your job doesn't matter. What's your job doesn't matter. Yeah. You would care that. 
Yes, of course. You can be a doctor. After operation, you must come here. Yeah. <laughs> the amount of sugar you have to tell in advance because every ingredient has to be cooked in the same pot at the same time. And then you will receive a coffee like this. And stirring coffee afterwards, messing up with the foam, and adding sugar is, I'm underlining it, unacceptable. <laughs> That's why you have the grainy part. You yeah, the grainy yeah. Part. So the one time I had Turkish coffee was in Kapadokya and I must have stirred my coffee as I'm used to. But like the dem says, Turkish coffee stirring is unacceptable because the grains are at the bottom and you're not supposed to mess with the foam. Serve Turkish coffee always with water, always. So even as a local, I want to have the most out of that liquid part. At the end, eventually, I'm going to sip that grainy part sooner or later. And the water helps me to wash it down. This is why we have water. And always something uh, delightful, just to sweeten up that bitter taste. Salt. Putting salt, Putting in, the, salt, salt yes. in the coffee was a silent call for help in an arranged marriage. Okay. Wow. Letting the groom to be no, knowing that I don't like you, or I like you, but I, I don't want to marry you. Please convince your family. Go to another so, family and ask someone else's help. <laughs> yeah, the girl can't say no because it was a male dominated society. So she put salt in the Turkish coffee she makes for the family. In the group. In direct, uh, yeah, she makes yeah. coffee for everyone, but in the groom's coffee she'll put salt to indicate to the groom that I don't want to marry you. <laughs> and I can't say no. Wow. <laughs> Wonderful. So, what you basically do, you take the plate. Put it on the cup, swirl it a bit, make a wish and then turn it upside down. And now we have to wait until the grainy part settles. You would just pick it up immediately. This is all the grain at the end of the coffee. Yep. And basically what you do, you have to see some shapes, symbols, numbers, letters. You, yes. have, to, you have to use your imagination. It's difficult than it sounds. <laughs> What do you see? Uh, let me let me see. Let me try to see things. You see a peacock? A peacock, yes. What do you see? I see a crown falling on my head. <laughs> that is Nusrat's restaurant in the Grand Bazaar. Where we went in the last vlog yesterday. This is her his restaurant in the Grand Bazaar. Oh, they made a putla of Go, mommy, take a photo. Yes, yes. There is so much more happening, na? Very good we went there. This is not happening at all. That was the first restaurant Nusrat ever made. 20 to 25 dishes every day. And we are not their main customers. Their main, the main customers are the employees that works in the Grand Bazaar or outside the Grand Bazaar. They will be quite busy after the noon prayer. We will have vegetable, home cooked vegetable, Turkish food. The answer to your question again, what do you eat at home, is this restaurant. We don't we do not eat kebab every day. <laughs> for, 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 three, for three meals, yes. Quite vegetable oriented with meat, lamb, rice, chicken. Stuffed cabbage with minced meat and rice. This is like mac and cheese and this is a type of sweet rice. Last destination for our food tour. Yes. <laughs> dessert that goes to the heart. <laughs> Look and at really, the doggo. Really nice dessert that comes delivered from Gaziantep every day by plane freshly. Wow. And even the name of the statue literally translated the meaning of that city of Antep. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi. You like my paja? You like my fudge? Look at his nose! Oh my God. Basically, this is classic baklava. Mm. 40 to 45 layers of filo dough, all handmade from scratch. Mm. In between each dough, in, in between each layer, you have butter. That's why it's so flaky on the top. And then you will have a pile of pistachio. Mommy will get chai why are you so disappointed in life? She wants to start something in Bombay of Turkish dish. Yeah. Now new business <laughs> ideas come. No. This is only the idea portion. No, no execution. I, I told this was the best joke of Kambi comes up with five business ideas per week. Yes. Zero are executed. Again, no cutleries, no fork, no knife. 
Okay. Hot cow, hot cow. You have to bite it upside down because the liquid part is at the bottom. These are the dry layers. Yeah. This is the soaky part. And if you eat it upside down, then you have then you at least allow the other 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 layers to get wet as well as much as possible. <laughs> कल्चर